Beloved Masters, a new day is dawning on your earth, an era that has been prophesied and foretold for many ages past. The holographic pictures and frequency patterns that have formed your personal reality are shifting. That is why you feel so vulnerable, and you no longer have an identity that you can relate to or familiar parameters to guide you. Briefly, we will review the rite of passage that you and each human soul must experience in order to reclaim your fifth dimensional sacred triad identity. You must go through the process of revising or releasing all of your lower frequency personal conceptions of what you thought were important in your third or lower fourth dimensional reality, your personal relationships, your possessions, your perception of what and who you were as you move into harmony and attunement with your higher self as you gradually access more refined energy, higher frequencies, new information, and greater wisdom. You have gradually become more comfortable with your fourth dimensional reality as you worked through all the negative emotional energies that came bubbling up from within your subconscious mind, sweeping out and clearing out moded perceptions. The pulsating, transforming light frequencies have reverberated throughout the depths of your cellular structure. They began to loosen all the impacted energies that have accumulated down through the ages, stirring them up moving them out to be released and replaced with higher frequency memory seed atoms. As you began to resonate to a quickened vibration, more of the refined vibrational patterns of your soul self and your oversoul or higher self gradually began to flow into and throughout your physical vessel. You are gaining a whole new set of rules to live by, a wonderful plethora of exciting information, and new wisdom to assist you in functioning within this new reality that you have envisioned. Joy and bliss became the norm and gradually, you begin to manifest your dreams and visions. Amazingly, you were also meeting interesting new friends that you recognized instantly as members of your soul family. You began to share, teach, and project this new vision, this new persona you have taken on, and the world began to look much brighter. And then, suddenly, it seems you have taken a step backward as many of you began to manifest dramatic illnesses that you do not understand. Obstacles are placed in your way, hampering your progress, what you had thought was your mission, your gift to humanity. Many of you can no longer find solace in meditation or reach upward, or inward, in order to tap into the loving feeling of oneness with the beings of light. You feel you are in a void, a sense of loss or at least, a sense of unreality. Let us reassure you, beloved ones, it is all a part of the process. These are times of great acceleration, transformation, and critical, chaotic change. We are infusing you with the maximum amount of divine substance, adamantine particles of creator light, that your physical vessel can contain. In doing so, it is accelerating your journey along the path of initiation so that it may seem as though you are in a whirlwind of change as you try to adjust to your new persona. Each time you lift your consciousness or tap into a higher frequency subplane and incorporate it in any part of your being, whether it is physical, emotional, mental, or etheric, it permeates the very depths of your being as it releases any corresponding impacted or negative energies that resonate at a lower frequency. Many of these energies were imprinted in your etheric and emotional bodies during those ancient experiences of your earliest physical incarnations on the earth plane. They are very powerful indeed. They have affected you in every lifetime you have experienced since by adding to and magnifying the negative energies until they held you in bondage, thereby creating pain and suffering. These are energies that have kept you from having the perfect health you desire, the strong, attractive body you dream of, the abundance, the power, the relationships, on and on. And so, you see, in order to assist you and keep you from going into overwhelm, your higher self puts you in what might be called a null zone or a period of no time. These are terms that are currently being bandied about in connection with the photon belt and are valid concepts, however, they also apply to you personally. Your Earth's rotation is slowing due to the decrease in planetary magnetics, while at the same time the vibrations or frequencies of your Earth, its heartbeat, are increasing. Every human being living on the Earth is being affected by this shift as well as every other living thing that exists on the planet. At least, each being is trying to match these new frequencies in order to stay attuned to the Earth, as the old frequencies are no longer tolerable. The Earth's spin is slowing down. 
it is because the moon exerts a gravitational pull on the planet, which causes a rotational deceleration since the moon is gradually pulling away. Over millions of years, the Earth's rotation has been slowing down due to friction effects associated with the tides driven by the moon. Internet, RV Those of you who are the Waze Howers, the world servers, have far exceeded these base frequencies and are functioning from a much higher resonance. Your reality is centered in the etheric or auric field of the Earth, which has moved into the higher subdimensional levels of fourth dimension. Your beloved planet is also rapidly progressing, and as it does, your reality must continue to change. All that you thought was your truth, your new way of functioning and being, your new identity, is swiftly melting away. A new holographic picture is emerging, and in your uncertainty, you wonder where you fit in this new scheme and what you are to do now. Who are you? Again, my brave ones, we say relax, release, and realize that this, too, is just a part of the never-ending spiral. No longer will you be allowed to stagnate or even stay at a certain level for very long. Time and the process of transformation are moving too swiftly. Your language is changing, and your thought processes are different. The old areas of your brain which contain your past are gradually being refined or are more difficult to access. It is beginning to seem as though everything that happened before, even last year, is a vague dream. New higher frequency areas of your brain, the sacred mind, are being activated and so you must learn to think in a whole new way. Memory seed atoms of information, holographic pictures of great significance and sacred geometric patterns will begin to come into your consciousness and you must learn how to decipher these. It may seem as if those whom you are moving beyond no longer understand you. Or you cannot easily find words to carry on the old mundane patterns of conversation. You will also find that you do not need to verbalize every thought as you begin to telepathically pick up the energies and thoughts of those around you. You are learning that you do not need to verbalize all of your thoughts in order to be understood, and you will not be easily deceived. You will speak your truth with spiritual integrity, and you will no longer play the ego games of the past. As you slowly create your refined, spiritual auric field and increase your awareness, be gentle with yourself. You may feel very vulnerable at times. You may feel as if you are losing an important part of yourself and this is true. But it is a part that no longer serves your greatest good, even though you have become comfortable in carrying this old baggage around. It is time to release all that you cannot take with you as you move back into your perfected, rarefied form of sacred light matter or form. You descended into a beautiful, perfect etheric, physical vessel, a divine crystalline body brought forth from the sacred heart or mind of our Father or Mother God. Allow us to give you an analogy of what took place those eons ago and what is now taking place. Imagine that you are a diver about to descend to the floor of the ocean. You are buoyant and can only float on the surface unless you attach anchors or weights to yourself so that you can descend and walk on the ocean floor or have some means of propulsion that will carry you into the depths. It is the same with your spirit being. You had to take on density in order to descend into physicality. And you took on much more density than was originally planned, making it even more difficult to emerge once again to the surface or what is called the higher dimensions. So see yourself shedding the anchors and weights that are keeping you walking the depths in the quagmire, the fog and illusion of the lower dimensions. Allow yourself to shed the heavy layers, the burdens that are keeping you stuck or anchored. Allow yourself to shed the shackles, so that you may, once again, soar into the rarefied height. Are you aware that those of you who have advanced your frequencies and resonance beyond that of the Earth are actually assisting your beloved planet to move higher up the spiral of ascension? That is a vitally important part of your mission, dear ones, to assist your brothers and sisters but also to be light streams that become stronger and more buoyant, lifting the mass consciousness, clearing the golden etheric web of your mother Earth so that she, too, may claim her divine position in the grand drama of evolution. We implore you, do not become attached to any way of being, any one modality, any philosophy that is too narrow or structured. Do not buy into any agreement that gives power to someone outside yourself. Discernment, discernment, discernment. We cannot emphasize this enough. 
As quickly as an apparent truth comes forth and you incorporate it into your belief system, it may be superseded by a higher truth or a new concept. In looking back, can you not see that much of the knowledge you now accept as your absolute truth was beyond your wildest imagining five years ago, or even a year ago? Be aware that what you are so certain about today will undoubtedly change tomorrow or in the future. That is why you are feeling so vulnerable, beloved ones. You are shape-shifting and so is your reality. You are in the midst of an ongoing dream that is fast-forwarding at an accelerated speed. If you will allow the fixations of the past and those antiquated energies to emerge so they may be transmuted or dissolved, and if you do not try to hang on to the old patterns, thought forms or structures, you will not feel so distressed or out of control. You must admit that this is not a time of boredom or stagnation. Indeed, it is what you have yearned for since that long ago time, when you merged your magnificent spirit self into the limiting confines of a physical structure. Awaken each day in joyful anticipation and great expectancy. Allow each day to unfold in its perfectness, gifting you with new delights and releasing you from shackles of the past. As we have many times stressed, stay in the event of the now. By doing so, you are focusing on what is occurring in the still point or power of the moment. Each moment, each thought and event, is of vast importance, for the treasures of new wisdom, new insights, new reasoning power, and new gifts are pouring forth at an astonishing rate. However, you must be open to receive them. With each new pulsation of a higher vibration, a portion of your existing reality begins to dissolve as the pattern repeats itself time and time again. You cannot fail. You can only hold yourself back and create discomfort if you struggle and keep yourself submerged in the old density. We implore you, accept these most precious gifts that are being offered. Become your own sacred witness as you glean, sort, release and refine the information and experiences that will move into your awareness. Do not become bogged down or attached to any set pattern or modality as you gradually emerge from the cocoon of physical humanity into the crystalline form of spiritual humanity. Allow yourself to ride the crest of the mighty waves of transformation. There is nothing to fear, precious ones, and so very much to be gained. Feel the warmth of our sacred breath as it brushes your cheek and sense the aura of love in which we surround you. We are near asterisk reach out and touch us asterisk we will respond asterisk you are not alone asterisk you have never been alone asterisk I am Archangel Michael.